Welcome to Buy In or Bug Out. I'm Drew, always bringing you the truth, and today we're joined by a very special guest, Adam, or not Adam, as he's well known on the interwebs. He's blowing up there, making some interesting music. How you doing? Dude, I'm good. Yeah? I'm, good. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. Like, I had a cold all last week, but okay. I'm like fighting okay. it with okay. all my life, and I'm getting over it. So if I sound a little nasally... I... Okay, so this is a little awkward. You're much, much taller than I am. So I'm going to go ahead... <laughs> Today on Buy In or Bug Out, we have one of three options. You're going to pick a number between one to three, and you're going to get a random situation. We're going to find out if you buy in. It's either it could be, you know, you're standing your ground or you're buying more of whatever's falling like crazy or bug out. You're taking to the hills. You're leaving. You're calling it a loss. You're moving on. Give me a number between one and three. I'm going, I'm going straight up one. All right. We're, we're going straight up one. Straight up one. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Bam. That went way smooth. We have Joe Biden oh, yeah. being replaced by this Kamala awesome. Harris. All right. So let's see here. This is going to turn into J6 times Hundy. Then we also have Chaz in every city. We have city blocks cordoned off by communist uprisings with AK-47s in a mostly peaceful manner blocking people from going to work. They, AKs are so, great peacekeeping weapons. Yeah, but that's just a piece of it. So... <laughs> We also have a supply chain disruption. We have mass strikes. We have a breakdown of goods being transferred. We have the truckers absolutely losing their minds and stopping all logistics of all goods across the country simultaneously. Man, it's been a nightmare. You got it's a problem a right there, right? If you imagine the Canada trucking standoff times 100, that's the situation we'd be facing if Joe Biden gets replaced by Kamala Harris. She's awful, man. Okay. She's awful. Yeah. And, and obviously, we're in America right yeah. now. I'll give my opinion what I would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your mindset, you're a more younger generation. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are You're working hard on forward-thinking principles. You're still experimenting with different things that you can do in society to make things better in the future. I yeah. know that's out there. What is your initial reaction to this news? So just full disclosure, like I'm generally a, a left leaning person. Right. That's just, you know, right. a lot of people my age are. That's just how right. they roll. We don't like her. Most you people don't, don't even like, like her. her. No. Right. Partially, I think one of the main things that kicked us away from her to begin with was mm. um, her linkage to the uh, criminal justice stuff. Yes. And how that was handled. The and imprisoning then she, of, yeah. you know, uh, marijuana convictions. And it's just yes. like really strange. Yes. And then all of a sudden now she's in, in this and mm. now it's like she's not. She's kind of playing both sides of the she, field. It's, well, she's right? trying to. But people right. immediately were like, whoa, mm -hmm. what, you know, what's with that? And then pretty much all of my generation was like, all right. Okay. You know, kinda, so your generation sees that. You, you heard it here first. Yeah. Young liberal mindsets notice Kamala as a scammer and potentially yeah. a draconian alien. But that'll be discovered later. So, all right, you have the situation. Do you plan on leaving America? Do you plan on, you know, taking to the streets? What is your plan of action? Should you see Kamala has taken over and, in my opinion, potentially even instituted martial law from yeah. the civil unrest of her being in power. What would you do? I think generally, we're saying this happens like right now. Right now. Okay. I think generally I'm on the like slower processing side okay. of things. So okay. there's a lot of talk about, you know, with cryptocurrency stuff, like is it going to take over? And then it's like, mm -hmm. I'm sort of on the side like, well, like maybe in 10 years or something. Yeah. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. is, you know, is the US dollar going to crash? I'm like, well, I mean, maybe in you know, five okay. years. So on this, I'm sort of, my gut reaction is like, well, I would like to say that I would leave and, you know, try and get somewhere where I can have a little bit more uh, personal, you know, security and safety and, okay. and you okay. know, control. But still within the U.S. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Just a little space. Uh, where outside the U.S. would you think about The going? issue right now is that it's it's like very hard to uproot everything and go yes. outside of the country. Yes. So yes, my, my gut reaction, the logical steps for me is like, all right, I'm probably going to end up staying here. Like, that's mm -hmm. just how it's going to end up being financially and, like, logistically, I'm probably going to end up staying right, here. Right. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to, you know, hunker down, keep my head low, just see what happens. I mean, so you're not going to dress like the shaman and show up at the Capitol is what you're saying? It wasn't my top of the list. Okay. No. okay. No. And we got, what, an election in a year? We do. We do have an election so coming right up. Maybe just try and tough it out for a year is my initial thought. Okay. That being said, 
I'd probably try and like arm myself in some yeah. way. Well, you said some things that I think are very useful for people to keep in mind should something like this happen. So what really stuck out in my mind, what Adam said, is to create some personal space, right? Taking some space, finding a little cabin or a little getaway, a little something, a little bit more separated from uh, densely populated city centers is going to be very, very important to, if you want to have normalcy continue through an upheaval like this, because guarantee you there would be a gargantuan upheaval in city centers should this occur. I would bet my bottom dollar on that. So taking that little personal space, maybe now that we're thinking about the potentials of the situation, really, she's next in line for Biden and Biden ain't holding on by a lot right now, right? He's white this knuckling this thing. is not too far out of potential, yeah. okay? So we're gonna focus on that. This is an actual situation we might be able to face in the short term having your own land having a little bit of space for your own family having your own garden should the logistics shut down think about grocery stores if yeah. those semi trucks have no longer been delivering foods there's going to be new food to buy that is a great thing that i heard from you about just wanting to create a little bit more space i think that it's okay to want that. You know, we all have been looking like your generation, especially, I feel like is being pushed into these apartments with the bank and the restaurant on the bottom. Oh yeah. They call it type 3A mixed use buildings. They're coordinating everyone into small bundled up locations. These are pinch points of control. So keeping this in mind, find that location where you can have a little bit of sovereignty, a little bit of control of your driveway and make sure that you're understood in your community as a steward be helpful to your neighbors even if they are a different political affiliation reach out to your community so that you can have that strength yeah. and and doing right by them when no one's looking they're going to pay you back tenfold and you know my generation may have a lot of these sort of you know gripes with with older generations and things that they think like oh we're just going to live in right. cities and all that but i right. would wager right now if you ask the majority of people my age if we would prefer to live in our own house, like yeah. separated from people with our own means and like, you know, our own space like that, I would wager the majority of us would say, yeah. Really? That's, okay. that's what we would prefer okay. over living in an apartment for the rest of our lives, right. paying rent for the rest of our lives. Absolutely. So. Find your sovereignty, man. And I love that your generation is looking that direction. One of the things that I, it, it sparked a lot of joy hearing you say that is because <laughs> the World Economic Forum wants us to own nothing and be happy. Yeah. It's up to our next generations to really fight up against that so are you buying in or are you bugging out should Kamala become the president uh, I think I'm I think I'm bugging out halfway okay I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm bugging out in the sense of yeah, like yeah. I'm not cool with it but I'm not really gonna I don't think I can go anywhere as far as in the middle as I can be I'm sorry I know that's not the answer yeah. that we wanted you know but no it's okay and for me this is a spicy uh, answer but I am digging my heels in <laughs> I'm getting together with all the 2A community that's been called deplorable over the past five years, and we're going to have a little party. So, so wait, wait, hold on. Is that considered bugging or is that bugging out? Oh. Are you bugging? Well, I guess, okay. so my answer would technically be bugging out. Bugging right. out by buying in. B okay. We're bugging out to the trees. We're wearing ghillie suits. We're all coordinated. We're hanging out. And we might actually have to start safety communities to bring legislation back down to a community level with local sheriffs at that point, which has been done in 1775. <laughs> it's a fantastic process the American people are capable of. We the people are the absolute uh, strongest army on the world. So do not let them forget that. But everyone that joined us on this buy in or bug out, thank you very much for joining us. We have a great new perspective from Adam. So I love digging in and uh, until next time, take care. See ya.